Hi, I'm Trevor Lund from RevTrib.com, and in this week's ministry coaching tip, I want to talk about when success doesn't smell like it should. <laughs> you know, right now when I'm recording this, I've had about four months of some really frust uh, amazing frustrations at RevTrev. You know, in four months, I have been to about... Uh, Four months in three months I've been to four different hosting accounts I'm on my fifth right now and all along the way it just was getting really really frustrating you know the first thing that happened was my site started getting really slow and uh, I weren't able to solve it at that that host so I went to another host and right away um, I started getting uh, messages from that host saying that I was crashing their servers and I would need to pay all this extra money and I thought for sure that I was simply uh, being taken advantage of. They're trying to scam me. And uh, so we went and uh, went to another host and I think went back to another to a host with a, a much bigger, more robust system. And again, it was just too slow at that host. Went to a th third host and my fourth hosting account and uh, they actually told me what was going on. You see, what was happening was I was getting results like this. And um, here's uh, from February 20th, or a month, filming this March 12th or March 11th, and this is from February 10th. I've had over uh, 199,152 page views from regular traffic. Now, this is um, from Cloudflare, and Cloudflare keeps track of your threats as well, so I'm not counting in how many threats, 17% were threats, 41,000 page views uh, were from sites that they've blocked and, and kept trouble from me. But, you know, this kind of results, this kind of traffic, without knowing it, like this is success, right? What's the number one thing for, for web, uh, your website? It's traffic. And uh, I do ministry on the web. Like this is this is my ministry on the web. And you know what's the one thing I want? I want traffic. But the things that that I didn't find out about was okay. What I'm paying for hosting now is uh, for every month is about what I paid for every three years, three months ago. <laughs> you know, um, every every time I went to a new host, I was uh, slowly <laughs> I was paying more money and more money and more money and more money. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm hosting everything on Amazon S3, uh, paying a it's not crazy amount, but it's it's more than my telephone bill, um, and my telephone is you know cable and everything else all wrapped up into one, and. You know, I'm going to do another video telling you why I've changed everything on RevTrev too, because it might help you as you develop on your ministry. But what I want to leave you with today is just the simple thought from Proverbs 14. <laughs> Without the oxen, the stable stays clean, but you need the strength of an ox for a large harvest. I don't know where you are or what you're doing, but every time you're going to experience growth, every time you're going to see the harvest, every time there's that acceleration, that time to stretch out the tent pegs, the time to do things. It's going to smell. <laughs> I like this translation, New Living Translation, because when I think of clean stables, I think of me cleaning the stables. <laughs> I've had a muck a lot of stables in my life. <laughs> Not so much stables, that's more my daughter. Um, for me, it was cows, yeah. So we had to... Uh, you keep it clean and it's it's smelly and it's messy but you got to keep it clean yeah and and if you didn't have those cows there you don't have that ox in there the place would be clean and, and you've got to be thinking to yourself okay what in my ministry who's who, who are the where are the pressure points who are the ones that are um, making it difficult for me well the best thing you can do is is learn to be thankful um, the, you know, don't think about firing your congregation members or firing your board. How about like, like consider the wisdom of, of Proverbs and realize that without the, the, the strength of the ox is needed for the large harvest. It's going to get messy. It's going to get smelly. It's going to get difficult. Uh, you know, I think that's why love is so important in the kingdom. <laughs> anyway.
<laughs> just my thought. You keep on doing what God's called you to do. I'll keep on doing what God's called me to do. And I'm going to try to encourage you because that's part of what he's called me to do. And thank you for encouraging me with your letters and your, with your letters, with your emails and your tweets and uh, everything else. And yeah, you know what? I, I'm set now. Uh, you can send all the traffic you want here and uh, <laughs> I should be okay for the next little while, but I will have to upgrade in time too. Anyway, I'm Trevor Lund. Thanks for your, thanks for being with me in this journey. I really do appreciate it. And uh, if it smells, success smells differently than you expected, you know, just just rearrange your thoughts as to what success should smell like. <laughs> and remember, an empty stable is not a productive farm. I don't know if that even makes sense. I'm Trevor Lund. God bless. <laughs>